Hi friends, my name is Miss Labrie. You might remember me from last week. This week I am here to talk to you about this week's theme in our last week in summer school. It's all about story time. So story time is all kinds of fairy tales and old stories that have been retold multiple different times. Today, I'm going to share with you Goldilocks and the Three Bears. You may have heard this story before, but you might have heard it being told a little bit differently. Today, I'm going to share with you Goldilocks and the Three Bears retold and illustrated by James Marshall. So a lot of different authors take this story and they change it and they do all kinds of fun things with it. I've heard Goldilocks and the Three Dinosaurs before. Have you ever heard that? Yeah, it's a version of Goldilocks, but written a little bit differently. So let's see what James Marshall wrote for us today. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once there was a little girl called Goldilocks. What a sweet child, said someone new in town. That's what you think, said a neighbor. Look at her face. Does she look like a sweet child? I don't know. One morning, Goldilocks' mother sent her to buy muffins in the next village. You must promise not to take the shortcut through the forest, she said. I've heard that bears live there. I promise, said Goldilocks. But to tell the truth, Goldilocks was one of those naughty little girls who did exactly as they please. Meanwhile, in a clearing deeper inside the forest, in a charming house all their own, a family of brown bears was sitting down for breakfast. Patooey, cried big old Papa Bear. This porridge is scolding. I've burned my tongue. I'm dying, cried Baby Bear. Now really, said Mama Bear, who was of medium size. That's quite enough. I know, said Papa Bear. Why don't we go for a spin while the porridge is cooling? Mm. Excellent, said Mama Bear. So they got on their rusty old bicycle and off they went. A few minutes later, Goldilocks arrived at the bear's house. She walked right in without even bothering to knock. On the dining room table, there were three inviting bowls of porridge. Don't mind if I do, said Goldilocks, helping herself to the biggest bowl. But the porridge in the biggest bowl was much too hot. Patooey, cried Goldilocks, and she spit it out. Next, she tasted the porridge in the medium-sized bowl but that porridge was much too cold. Then Goldilocks tasted the porridge in the little bowl and it was just right, Not, neither too hot nor too cold. In fact, she liked it so much that she gobbled it all up. Being full and satisfied, Goldilocks thought it would be great fun to have a look around. Right away, she noticed a lot of coarse brown fur everywhere. Hmm, they must have kitties, she said. In the parlor, there were three chairs. Don't mind if I do, she said, climbing into the biggest one. But the biggest chair was much too hard, and she just couldn't get comfortable. Next, she sat in the medium-sized chair, but that chair was much too so soft, and she thought she might never get out. Then, Goldilocks sat in the little chair, and it was just right. Neither too hard, nor too soft. In fact, she liked it so much that she rocked, and she rocked until the chair fell completely into pieces. Now, all that rocking left, Goldilocks quick, was quite tuckered out. I could take a little snooze, she said, so she went to look for a comfy place to nap. Upstairs, there were three beds. 
Oh, I don't mind if I do, said Goldilocks, and she got into the biggest one, but the head of the biggest bed was much too high. Next, she tried the medium-sized bed, but the head of that bed was much too low. Then Goldilocks tried the little bed, and it was just right. Soon, she was all nice and cozy and sound asleep, and she did not even hear the bears come home. Uh-oh, what do you think's gonna happen when they come home? The three bears were mighty hungry, but, they, but when they went in for breakfast, they could scarcely believe their eyes. <gasps> Somebody's been in my porridge, said Papa Bear. Somebody's been in my porridge, said Mama Bear. Somebody's been in my porridge, said Baby Bear, and eaten it all up. In the parlor, the three bears were in for another little surprise. Somebody's been sitting in my chair, said Papa Bear. Somebody's been sitting in my chair, said Mama Bear. Somebody's been sitting in my chair, said Baby Bear, and broken it to smithereens. The three bears went upstairs on tiptoe, not knowing what they would discover. The, at first, everything seemed just fine. But then... Papa Bear laid down on his big brass bed. Somebody's been laying in my bed, he cried, and he was not amused, not happy. Oh, cried Mama, Mama Bear, somebody's been lying in my bed. Look! cried Baby Bear. Somebody's been lying in my bed and she is still there. Uh-oh. Now see here, roared Papa Bear. Goldilocks woke up with a start and her eyes nearly popped out of her head. But before the bears could demand a proper explanation, Goldilocks was out of bed out of the window and on her way home. Who was that little girl? asked Baby Bear. I have no idea, said Mama Bear, but I hope we never see her again. And they never did. The end. What a great story. Do you think that Goldilocks learned her lesson? Do you think that she should have listened to her mama? I think she probably should have. Well, I hope you enjoyed this book and I will see you later. Have a good week. Bye.